Hello and thanks for tuning in to this Marvell Follow the Wire video for our OEM customers and their partners. In our last segment, we discussed why Fiber Channel is the gold standard protocol for connecting servers to shared storage arrays. Now, like with many things out there, there are choices in terms of Fiber Channel adapters on the market. And in this video, we're going to explain how your customers can get more value by choosing QLogic Fiber Channel for server to storage connectivity. I'm sure when you were young, adults around you talked about making good choices. And the same applies in the data center. One choice the data center architects have is the brand of Fiber Channel HVA they use for their server to storage connectivity. We're going to explore in the next few minutes the key reasons that make QLogic HPAs the best choice for your customers. QLogic Fiber Channel HPAs deliver high performance connectivity for both SCSI based and native NVMe storage arrays. And they can simultaneously connect to the older SCSI arrays and to newer NVMe arrays. Support for fabric performance impact notifications in the QLogic Universal Sand Congestion Mitigation feature helps identify and correct congestion issues in the SAN without administrator intervention. QLogic HBAs also provide simple integration with a unified SCSI and NVMe driver for, and full feature support for both Brocade and Cisco switches. Fiber channel is standards based, so all components operate to the same basic requirements and interoperability is key. However, there are some ways that manufacturers can differentiate their products. Here are the key differentiators in Marvell QLogic HPA technology that deliver true customer benefits. The first is port isolation architecture. This delivers predictable per port performance to provide IT administrators with deterministic application performance so they can meet SLAs 24 by 7. Universal fiber channel and fiber channel over NVMe drivers eliminate the need to add new drivers to the server configurations when latest generation FC NVMe storage arrays are introduced into the SAN. There's no software licensing with QLogic fiber channel HBAs. Unlike other vendors, all features in the Q Marvell QLogic HBAs are enabled in standard firmware. There's no extra software required to enable specific features. And full featured compatibility with Brocade and Cisco fiber channel switches is part of the QLogic DNA. There's no compromise to feature availability when connected to either a Brocade or a Cisco fiber channel switching solutions. Customers get all the benefits and capability of the Marvell QLogic HBAs regardless of the SAN fabric they choose to deploy. Let's dive a little deeper into some of these differentiators. Today there are two major fiber channel suppliers with two very different design architectures. The port isolation architecture on the left used in the Marvell QLogic fiber channel adapters provides dedicated processor, memory, and driver resources for each port on the adapter. It's like flying a plane with two engines. If one engine fails, the other keeps working. Now the shared architecture design on the right utilizes an ASIC that shares processor, memory, and driver resources across all ports on the adapter. This is analogous to a single engine plane. If there's a problem, it affects the entire plane. So which approach is better? The key issue is that per port performance is not predictable on the design on the left, as traffic for one port can affect the performance of the other. This is simply not the case with QLogic adapters. With completely independent ports, the performance of each port is completely isolated from what's potentially happening on the other port. Marvell QLogic HBAs also provide simplified integration for next generation NVMe storage arrays. Let's say we have an existing SAN fabric connected to legacy SCSI based fiber channel storage. 
If we want to add new NVMe storage to the fabric, what happens? Well, these arrays connect via fiber channel over NVMe, and the good news is that fiber channel HPAs and switches can support concurrent communication of both SCSI and NVMe commands on each adapter port. Where the complexity comes in is in the driver design. With Marvell QLogic fiber channel HPAs, the HPA driver supports both fiber channel SCSI and FC NVMe today for all Tier 1 OSs that support FC NVMe. Competitors only really recently added universal capabilities starting with VMware 8.x. Customers using older versions of OSs may be required to add separate FC NVMe drivers to support FC NVMe connectivity. This is an extra step that administrators need to take on each server in the SAN that simply isn't required when using Marvell QLogic HPAs. Another feature in fiber channel HPAs is virtual machine ID or VMID. With VMID, each fiber channel frame is tagged with the information about the VM that generated the request. That information is passed to and through the fiber channel switches to the storage target. Storage management of the, and switch management software can be updated to view the traffic flow using this VM information. Now, not all storage vendors have implemented support for VMID as of yet. However, VMID is also supported from host to switch only in what is called tagless VMID, and this removes the storage dependency from the equation. QLogic HBAs differentiate by auto-negotiating this feature with both Cisco and Brocade fiber channel switches and directors. No administrator intervention is required. Again, with competitor offerings, this is a manual setting that administrators must enable for each port on each HPA in the environment. That's less than ideal. Fiber Channel is based on a buffer credit flow control mechanism to ensure in-order frame delivery between devices. Now, virtualizing these flows exists today for inner switch links or ISLs between switches. What's happening now is enabling virtualization of these flows to the host adapter. This is a unique capability by QLogic HBAs today that we call virtual lanes. Now, virtual lanes can be used with the QLogic SAN congestion mitigation feature to help identify and prioritize congested traffic to the slow lane. In databases, the query data and log data are usually routed differently in the SAN. Query data is stored in high-performance flash storage, while log data is typically stored on lower-cost HDD systems. Virtual lane technology can be used to move the query data in the fast lane and the log data in the slow lane and improve the overall database application performance. Supported in Linux today, when virtual lane technology is supported in VMware, it can be used in conjunction with VMID to enhance quality of service for high-priority workloads. Here's the Marvell QLogic portfolio for our HPAs that support all the features we've discussed here and more. The QLE 2690 series single and dual port adapters provide 16 gigabit connectivity. The QLE 2770 series provide 32 gig fiber channel connectivity. And the QLE 2870 series are our 64 gigabit fiber channel offerings. Here are the key takeaways from our video. First, QLogic HPAs with port isolation provide more reliable and predictable per port performance than other offerings on the market. QLogic HPAs are feature rich and work with all fiber channel vendors to ensure features are enabled, providing more customer value. And by implementing automation for congestion and VM workload monitoring and management, QLogic HPAs reduce the administrative burden and the overall total cost of ownership for customers. Well, that's it for this Follow the Wire video. For more information, go to www.marvell.com slash QLogic to find out more details on Marvell and QLogic Fiber Channel HPA technology. 
And be sure to check out our other Follow the Wire videos on the Marvell YouTube channel. Thanks and have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.